Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we shall take a look at VMware versus VirtualBox versus Hyper-V versus Kemu. Now in the realm of virtualization, these four programs are popular choices for running virtual machines, VMs, on your computer. Each caters to different needs and offers distinct advantages. Here's a breakdown to help you pick the perfect virtualization software. First, let's look at VMware Workstation Player the free version. Let's look at its pros. VMware Workstation Player offers a user-friendly interface that makes it easy to create, manage, and run VMs. Even beginners can get started quickly without extensive technical knowledge. VMware supports a wide range of guest operating systems, allowing you to run virtually any OS you need within a VM on your computer. While free, VMware Workstation Player offers better performance and more features compared to completely free options like VirtualBox. These features include USB device pass-through and some level of 3D graphics acceleration. For advanced users, VMware Workstation Player integrates seamlessly with paid VMware products like VMware vSphere, offering a migration path for those who need more robust virtualization capabilities. VMware benefits from a large and active community, providing ample online resources, tutorials, and support for troubleshooting any issues you might encounter. Now let's take a look at the cons of VMware. The free version of VMware Workstation Player lacks some advanced features available in the paid pro version, such as nested virtualization and more powerful 3D graphics support. To unlock the full potential of VMware, you'll need to upgrade to a paid license, which can be a cost factor for some users. While generally good, VMware's performance on Windows machines might not quite match the native Hyper-V hypervisor, especially for resource-intensive tasks within VMs. VMware Workstation Player requires slightly more system resources to run compared to VirtualBox. This might be a consideration for users with older or less powerful computers. While still possible, scripting and automating tasks within VMs might be less straightforward compared to some other options like Kemu. Now let's look at the pros of VirtualBox. VirtualBox is entirely free to use and has an open source code base. This makes it a budget-friendly option for both personal and commercial use. VirtualBox runs seamlessly on Windows, macOS, Linux, and other operating systems. This allows you to use the same software for virtualization regardless of your host machine's OS. VirtualBox has a relatively small footprint and requires fewer system resources compared to some other options making it suitable even for older computers. Similar to VMware, VirtualBox offers broad support for various guest operating systems, allowing you to run a diverse range of VMs. VirtualBox provides a high degree of customization for your VMs, enabling you to tailor settings to your specific needs and hardware configuration. With its pros comes its cons. Now let's look at the cons of VirtualBox. While functional, VirtualBox's interface might not be as intuitive or user-friendly compared to VMware Workstation Player, especially for beginners. VirtualBox offers a more basic feature set compared to the paid version of VMware Workstation Player. This includes limitations in areas like 3D graphics acceleration and USB device pass-through. VirtualBox has a smaller community compared to VMware. This can mean fewer readily available online resources and troubleshooting guides. While adequate for basic tasks, VirtualBox might struggle with very resource-intensive workloads within VMs compared to some other options. VirtualBox's free nature and feature set make it less suitable for large-scale virtualization deployments in enterprise environments. Now let's switch over to Hyper-V. Let's take a look at its pros. Hyper-V comes pre-installed and seamlessly integrated into Windows 10 Pro and higher editions. This makes it a convenient choice for Windows users who don't want to install additional software. As a native hypervisor, Hyper-V leverages hardware virtualization features on your CPU, leading to potentially superior performance compared to software-based hypervisors, especially for resource-intensive tasks within VMs. Hyper-V prioritizes security offering features like Secure Boot and Shielded VMs to help isolate guest VMs and protect your system. Hyper-V is well-suited for large-scale virtualization deployments in enterprise environments, 
offering features for managing multiple VMs and integrating with other Microsoft products. Microsoft continues to develop Hyper-V, adding new features and functionalities with updates. This ensures your virtualization capabilities remain up to date. Now let's take a look at the cons of Hyper-V. While there are unofficial workarounds, Hyper-V is officially supported only on Windows 10 Pro or higher editions. This excludes macOS and Linux users. Hyper-V's interface might have a steeper learning curve compared to user-friendly options like VMware Workstation Player. While Hyper-V supports popular operating systems, its official support list might be slightly narrower than some competitors. Due to its focus on Windows integration, Hyper-V might have fewer third-party tools and management software options compared to more widely used platforms like VMware. Hyper-V's technical nature and deeper integration with Windows might make it less suitable for beginners who are just starting with virtualization. And last but not least, let's take a look at Kemu. Let's look at its pros. Kemu is a powerful and versatile emulator that can run a vast array of guest operating systems and architectures on various host machines, including Windows, macOS, and Linux. With its open source nature, Kemu offers a high degree of customization and allows for advanced users to tinker with its code for specific needs. Similar to VirtualBox, Kemu has a relatively small footprint and requires fewer system resources to run, making it suitable for older machines or situations where resource efficiency is crucial. Kemu primarily uses a command line interface, CLI for control, which can be powerful for scripting and automation tasks. Despite its focus on the CLI, Kemu boasts an active developer community and various graphical user interface GUI frontends available for a more user-friendly experience. Now let's take a look at the cons of Kemu. Kemu's reliance on the command line can be intimidating for beginners unfamiliar with command line interfaces. While GUI frontends exist, managing VMs through Kemu might not be as intuitive or user-friendly compared to options with dedicated graphical interfaces like VMware Workstation Player. Kemu requires more configuration compared to some other options to achieve desired functionality within VMs. While efficient, Kemu performance can vary depending on your hardware and the level of emulation required for the guest OS. Similar to VirtualBox, Kemu's configuration complexity and focus on single user environments make it less suitable for large-scale virtualization deployments in enterprise settings. So, which virtualization software reigns supreme? The best choice depends on your specific needs and priorities. Choose VMware Workstation Player if you are a beginner and want a user-friendly interface for creating and managing VMs. You need broad operating system support and a good balance of features and performance. You are willing to pay for a license to unlock advanced features like nested virtualization or enhanced 3D graphics support. Choose VirtualBox if you prioritize a completely free and open source solution. You need cross-platform compatibility and want to run VMs on various operating systems. You have an older computer with limited resources and require a lightweight virtualization solution. Choose Hyper-V if you are a Windows 10 Pro or higher user and want a native pre-installed hypervisor for maximum performance and ease of use within the Windows environment. You prioritize security features like secure boot and shielded VMs for your VMs. You plan to deploy VMs in a larger scale Windows-based enterprise environment and need features for managing multiple VMs. Choose Kemu if you are an advanced user comfortable with the command line and need high versatility for running various guest operating systems and architectures. You prioritize resource efficiency and need a lightweight solution for older machines. You require a high degree of customization for your VMs and want the ability to tinker with the code, open source nature. Ultimately, there is no single best virtualization software. Consider the factors mentioned above to pick the option that best aligns with your technical expertise, operating system, desired features, and budget. Well, I hope that you have found this video helpful. See you guys next time.